Dittiello is the former U.S. Border Patrol chief. Ron, good morning and welcome back. I, I've got this. I mean, OK, June border number, 207,416. I mean, it blows the mind. Um, but, but here's another one for you. The terrorist screening database flags six hits in June. That brings the total number to 56 for fiscal year 22, which is nearly double the 30 in the previous four years combined. That, that's dozens and dozens on our terror watch list who are just walking across the border. And as Dane and I talk, how many billions of dollars have we spent for the past 20 years trying to keep an airplane safe? Yeah, it, it's incredible. The numbers for June, uh, we're continuing on. We're going to surpass 2 million encounters at CBP just this year. Like the, the, the year ends in government in October. Uh, and in that mix, in that wave of humanity, there are there are specific threats um, that relate to people who live on the border. You know, the ranchers and, and, the, and the people who live near the line, they see all this traffic coming across uh, the local communities and the crime, the public health resources. And then you have this distinct threat of people who are affiliated with terrorists who are inside of this larger group. And it's not just terrorists, right? It's other people, pedophiles, people who are wanted for things in the United States. They've done things in their own country that make them wanted. So that's what happens when you have this open borders policy. And let's th think about it. You know, the Border Patrol has so much to do now with thousands and thousands of people coming every 24 hours. Uh, mm -hmm. They're not able to find these threats. We, you know, we're, gl we're glad for the help from DPS. We're glad that they have found these TSTB hits. Um, but what, think about what's getting away. There's, there's, there's thousands of people coming to the border every day, and there's thousands more that aren't even encountered by law enforcement. Yeah, terror watch list. I mean, you can't, you can't make it up. Muriel Bowser is the, the mayor of Washington, D.C. There have been a number of buses where the governor, Greg Abbott of Texas, has offered to, uh, well, bus people to Washington. And th that's happened. And she was asked about it on CBS on Sunday. Here's what she said think they're largely asylum seekers uh, who are going to final destinations that are not Washington, D.C. I fear that they're being uh, tricked into nationwide um, bus trips when their final destinations are places all over the United States of America. What is she talking about? I, I fear they're being tricked into nationwide bus trips. W we had cameras when they got off the bus at the Capitol building and most of them said, I'm trying to get to Miami. This is the fastest way I can get there. Well, what is this idea about being tricked? What, what I understand is, is Texas is only busing people to Washington, obviously to make a point, right? That they're being overwhelmed in that, at that border, and not just Texas, it's other states as well. They're being overwhelmed, and they're offering people to volunteer to take a bus ride to D.C., um, and, and they're ending up here. And being tricked is not part of the plan. You know, Texas is doing this. She so doesn't that they want, can relieve she doesn't some want of the pressure them, that they're on. Say it. Well, nobody wants them. No, no, nobody wants them. You know, to be fair, right, these people are coming supposedly for a better life. She says they're asylum seekers, but many of them we know will never go to an asylum here, will never go in front of an immigration judge. They're here. They're being released into this economy, and that's what they want. They want to stay here. Mm -hmm. That's why so many people are coming. And if she's concerned about this, she needs to ring up the White House and ask them what their plan is. Are we going to continue to do this? Hundreds of thousands of people coming every single month. Thousands are coming every 24 hours. I have not heard one iota of a plan on how they're going to fix this or how they're going to make Understood. it better. They're overwhelming every single system. Ron, thank you. We're out of time today. We'll talk later. Ron Vitiella, thanks for coming by.